Welcome back to N90X. Today I'm going to upgrade the SDX platform from 11.0 to 12.0 build 5620. First thing you want to do, of course, is go to Citrix.com, log in, look for the downloads for SDX. This is the latest bundle as of December 21st, 2017 download the file make sure it's saved as a .tgz some browsers will extract it and it'll extract the tar file you don't want a tar file you want to keep the original tgz so be sure to double check that your trash can doesn't have the tgz and the tar files in your download folder just check that let's log into the sdx when you get to the gui course management services is the first place you want to go software images I've already up to uploaded the build 12.0.56.20. You just simply click on the upload button, go to your where your files are, select the build that you want to upload, and click OK. It'll depending on the speed of your network, it'll it'll come up here in a couple of minutes. Next step is to go to system. Now you can see here now that we're in 11.0, you have upgrade appliance. Click on that. Here you will Make sure, since the file is now on the appliance, we can select this build, the 12.0.56.20. Click Open. Click OK. And this is going to be upgrading the appliance. Whereas in 10.5, you have the option for updating the service virtual machine separately from the Zen server hypervisor. Now everything's bundled together. So it'll upgrade everything together, the hypervisor as well as the service virtual machine. Okay, that took less than a minute to grab that, and now we have an upgrade appliance screen. Tell us what it's, what it's going to do. It's going to upgrade the management service and the platform. The appliance will be rebooted once. It claims that it'll take about 80 minutes, so we're not going to wait 80 minutes, but um, also notice that there's no... IPs that are unsaved, everything saved, that's a good thing. I'll click on upgrade and this is the 8000 series SDX. It was a 8200 MPX and of course with a SDX boot drive you can convert it to an SDX. In that process of course it updates the firmware of the system it's sort of a one-way process. If you ever wanted to go back running MPX, you'd have to return the SDX to Citrix for factory maintenance. But in any event, this process is ongoing, and I'll check back in when we have something new on the screen. Oh, okay, right after I said that, this screen popped up. And it does say that it'll take about an hour and 20 minutes to do the upgrade. Uh, so upgrade is initializing, then it will do the management service upgrade, and then it'll do the platform upgrade. So I don't doubt it uh, that it'll take about 80 minutes, 67, 80 minutes. And well, I'll just come back periodically to see how it's doing. Okay, as you can see, about two minutes into it, the management service is starting to upgrade. I also had the... Uh, console window open. This is what it's showing after I upgraded to 11.0. I didn't reboot this particular PC. This this is a Mac, uh, iMac here. Uh, I think I probably would need to re reboot this and re reconnect because for some reason the terminal is got corrupted. But that's okay. It's still working. I was able to log in. I know this is the login prompt. Um, anyhow, we'll see what happens. Fan is starting to kick in a little bit as the management service is being upgraded. We'll check back in a little bit later. Okay, this definitely has not been running for 20 minutes and already it's starting to work on the platform upgrade. So I guess 
80 minutes was just sort of an estimate. Maybe depends on, I don't know, various factors. But uh, this is looking like it's going to probably take about an hour. Platform upgrade is going now. And I'm probably five, five minutes into this upgrade. Okay, I came back to the computer 25 minutes later, and it's finished. So it did not take 80 minutes. Probably took about 30 minutes, I would say, because I don't know how long it's been sitting here. And we're done. Let's try to log in. And we've now updated to 12.0, 5620. Potential to run those other virtual machines. Oh, here, oh, here it is. Third-party instances are still there. They're still there, just under another tab. So that's interesting. So you could still run these other third-party instances if you wanted to. And we're now at the latest version, as of January nineteenth, twenty eighteen. Zen server. Zen Server 6.5 is what's running, whereas before it was running 6.1. So Zen Server's also been updated to Zen Server 6.5. Interesting. Anyhow, that's the process, very similar to upgrading from 10.5 to 11.0 to upgrade to the latest version is the same process. So now we're upgraded, we're updated to platform version 12.0 and on the next video we'll start getting into the Netscaler instances. This is where you can fire up individual VPXs, multiple VPXs on your SDX platform. Thank you for watching. I hope this has been helpful, and I'll see you on the next video.